Hi there, it's Mrs. Frosto at Los Angeles Elementary School and I sent home on our first week of remote learning, I sent home a packet about how to make a paper bag kite. And we will put those directions on the Facebook page in case uh, you misplaced them or they never actually made it home in your packet or whatever happened to them. We'll put them there just so that everybody knows what to do. And I'm gonna try and follow along for this one, I have not looked up any other YouTube videos, although I am sure they are out there because you can find just about anything you want to on YouTube. But this is mostly from my childhood and one of my books in the back that you've seen before. And so I just want to go through the directions and this is the perfect time of year to do uh, kite making. And so a paper bag is a nice, cheap, easy way to do it and the type of Kite is a sled kite so it just catches the wind and it shouldn't be too hard to fly. Um, so I'm going to walk you through the directions. The first thing you're going to do is just take your bag and you can even use the bag that you got your supplies in if you are one of the kids that got supplies in a paper bag from Paxton's. If not, you can go to a store and ask for paper instead of plastic and that will work. So here's my, my paper bag. And first job I did was cut the bottom right off. I don't need the bottom, okay? And then I lay it flat and I find, I took about I, about a third of the way down. So I, I folded it like you would fold a letter to put it in an envelope like this, so it's in thirds. And that's how I found my third of the way down. And I just made a dot as close to the center as I could find. And then I made, um, a triangle going up and a triangle going down and those are the parts that we cut out and we discard. So then I, tr I tried to make one ahead of time so then this is what oh, sorry so this is what it looks like when I'm done cutting it has all the I have to fold it back the way it was. There you go. So it has all, all of the front and the back, and then these triangular flaps, and then that's the side. This is the side of the bag. And then um, I started decorating the back over the printing, and you can do that, or you can completely turn the whole thing inside out and uh, use the cleaner side to um, decorate and that makes a little bit more sense actually. So then that's why I had to refold it because you just fold everything backwards then and it tells you to tape the sides. So that's what I'm going to do now so that they, these flaps are kind of like wings. Okay, now I'm just taking the tape that I had and you can, I believe, use any tape. I think that duct tape is kind of heavy, but I th still think it'll work. So if you want to use the duct tape, that should be fine. Or masking tape is what I've got. And um, scotch tape might not be strong enough, but try it. And if it works, that's great. Or else that packing tape that you use to send a package, that could work too. So then after this, gets taped down and you decorate as much as you want to. And so see this is what I mean about the sled. It's kind of like that and it's gonna fly up in the air like that. So these two wings, that's where you need to punch your holes and thread your string. And there the directions do tell you to reinforce that with tape too so that it won't rip real easy. Now, I, of course I left my kite string somewhere that I couldn't find it today. So I'm just gonna use regular old string, but you want it to be kind of thin, not too heavy, and then just put it through, um, uh, through your holes, both holes, and you kind of wanna make what they call a yoke. So it goes through um, both holes, both sides, and then you come and you tie it so that so that it makes sort of a Y shape. Let's see, kind of like this. 
And then, and that can be big. It doesn't matter if it's big or small because the wind will just sort of take care of, of that and catch, catch the kite up in the sky. Okay, so like this. And then I just tie it all together in a knot. And then that's where I, um, that's where, and I want it to be a good knot so it won't come undone while it's flying because I have lost kites before. Lose them in the trees and lose them in the power lines. And if that happens, don't go after it. Just let it be. Okay, so then anyway, here's my finished kite, and it looks like it could fly. Today's a nice breezy day. I'm going to give it a try, and it just catches the wind right in there, and then you let out your string real slow and easy, and then it'll come and uh, hopefully give you a lot of pleasure. So let's go fly a kite. Bye.